So I was born the son of a Jamaican mother, a black from Jamaica, and a father white from England. Uh, so I grew up a biracial child born in Toronto, um, but from two international immigrant parents. Um, I found that from an early age I experienced a, quite a culture shock when I had the opportunity to visit both Jamaica, um, where I had people say to me, hey boy, where are you from? From a foreign? <laughs> and uh, not understanding what they meant because they were speaking Patois, um, to going to England and being confronted with a very sort of stead and proper culture. Early on, I was introduced to civic engagement through my father, um, who was very heavily involved in founding something called the Bathurst Key Neighborhood Association. I lived down near Tip Top Taylor's, near what was then the Toronto Island Airport. Uh, there was a lot of discussion about creating a fixed link and expanding the airport. Um, fortunately, my dad um, got involved in helping to stop the expansion of the Toronto Island Airport and introduced me to uh, being active in community politics. I had the opportunity to uh, go before the Toronto City Council um, and share the, the youth view within my community, and it really showed me that getting involved can really make a difference. So when I enrolled in university, I knew then that I wanted to study political science and I had the opportunity to learn about civic engagement from an academic perspective. It really set the tone for understanding how politics works, but really from a, a, a very intellectual perspective. When I graduated from the University of Western Ontario, I was fortunate to be offered a position as a liaison officer, helping high school students make the transition to university. What was amazing for me was having the opportunity to travel all across Canada, far and wide, from Timmins and Hearst to Capus Casing, Thunder Bay, uh, to Okotoks, uh, just south of Calgary. What really struck me was just what an amazingly diverse place Canada is culturally all across um, this, this great nation. After enrolling at the uh, Rodman School of Management for the MBA program. I, I had the opportunity to travel to um, Hong Kong and to Singapore and Taiwan and study a bit at the National University of Singapore. And what I was amazed at when I visited Hong Kong was how I didn't have any culture shock at all. Uh, it was as though my experience growing up in, in Markham or the large Asian community had really prepared me uh, for cultures all over the world. So I came back to Toronto and had been working for, for a bit of time. And my dad had seen diversity in the newspaper and he strongly encouraged me to get involved. Um, unfortunately, my dad passed away last year and it really taught me the lesson of getting involved now, of getting involved today, that we all have the opportunity to make a better society and we can do that today. Diverse City taught me the tangible skills that I needed in order to learn how to be a better city builder. The School for Civics program taught me in a very tangible and concrete fashion what is necessary to get involved at the civic level. I learned about fundraising, voter identification, and really how to get out the vote. So I'm looking forward to taking those skills and implementing them, um, hopefully, in some kind of electoral run within the next number of years.